Identical triplets take a DNA test just to discover the worrying truth. Let's start from the very beginning and take you on the journey of the Dom triplets. Their rise to fame and how one day in March of 2017 changed everything they thought they knew. The Dom triplets. The Dom triplets consist of Nicole, Erica, and Jacqueline, all born in that order on December 12, 1977. Their parents must have felt truly blessed to give birth to three identical, beautiful little girls. People were absolutely stunned to see all three triplets together, thanks to their incredible looks, blonde hair, blue eyes, and to see triplets that look identical are pretty rare, just adding to the public's admiration of the girls. The triplets were almost impossible to tell apart, which led to the parents having to tattoo the bottoms of each child with special dot marks. Nicole was the firstborn triplet, so she had one dot. Erica was second, so she had two. Finally, Jacqueline, the thirdborn triplet, has no dot. The three were inseparable, with far more than just their looks in common, leading to plenty of confusion for the family and friends. The triplets grew up in Jordan, a small town in Minnesota, and attended a public local high school. As you can imagine, living in a small town meant that all three got their fair share of attention. Less than 30,000 people lived in Jordan when the girls were growing up, which meant that everyone knew who they were. Both friends and modeling agencies were quick to pick up on how beautiful the girls were. Growing up, the Dom triplets did everything they possibly could together. Nicole, in an interview with Playboy magazine, once said, We rarely hold our own identity. We were always known as you three, or the triplets. They had the same friends, wore the same clothes, played with the same toys, the whole shebang. It could have caused rifts or arguments being so close, but the triplets stuck together through thick and thin. It'll probably come as no surprise to learn that the girls were quickly scouted by modeling agencies. After all, where else could you find three beautiful triplets? When they were just 16, they made it to the front cover of Teen Magazine as the great model search winners with their matching blonde hair and blue eyes. This would be their first taste of the modeling industry, and it wouldn't be long before they made it into one of the biggest magazines of all. While they may have enjoyed a taste of modeling, the Dom triplets were planning on making a career out of it. All three enrolled with the University of Minnesota as part of the nursing school in hope that they'd one day be all nurses, probably in the same hospital, together. It was at this college campus that they saw a flyer advertising Playboy search for models to include in their Girls of the Big Ten special edition. Jacqueline, Nicole, and Erica never imagined that applying for this modeling role would change their lives forever. They turned up to the casting agent who quickly realized how amazing the three beauties were, which then led to a test shoot. The triplets had to decide whether they'd be willing to take their clothes off for such a well-known magazine, which of course was a joint decision. After much debate, the girls became the first triplets to make it into the monthly centerfold for Playboy. It was a risque decision for the Dom triplets to de-robe for Playboy, and one that they didn't take lightly. After all, they weren't planning on making a career out of modeling, never mind modeling without clothes on. Jacqueline told Playboy magazine in a 1998 interview that they never would have done this model for Playboy as individuals. Little did they know that this modeling contract would open so many doors and lead to a shocking DNA test. After appearing in the centerfold for Playboy magazine, big opportunities were opened up to the Dom triplets. Erica was one quoted as saying that featuring in Playboy was what started her and her sister's lives. She goes on to say that it's something she wouldn't change for the world and an amazing experience. The triplets dropped out of nursing school after their Playboy appearance to pursue their own careers in the entertainment industry in L.A. As soon as the girls made their decision to try and make it big in L.A., doors began opening everywhere. The Dom triplets made it into TV shows, including Boy Meets World, as the three beautiful women who lived in a dorm room close to Eric and Jack. In fact, the girls were typecast as the unobtainable triplets, because that's what they were. They also made it onto an episode of Family Feud with their father and older sister, where they won $10,000. And still, opportunities kept coming, including winning an episode of House Wars. This led to the identical sisters being hired for Renovate My Family, a Fox reality TV show. It was here that their lives would change without them even knowing. Jay McGraw, the son of Dr. Phil, was the host of the show, and it's where he met middle triplet Erica. Jay took a shine to Erica, which led to him knocking on her trailer door and asking to watch a movie. Erica has admitted it was love at first sight. This chance meeting with Jay McGraw would be what led the Dom sisters to their surprising DNA test results. Dr. Phil, Jay McGraw's father, 
is one of the executive producers of the TV show, The Doctors, where different medical issues are discussed between a panel of doctors. Every now and then, celebrities are featured on the show to talk through their own medical issues and provide opinion and discussion. After McGraw married Erica in 2006, he had the idea to feature the triplets on The Doctors, where they would talk about their lives and health as triplets. The public loved it, particularly as the girls are so beautiful and intriguing. Erica, Jacqueline, and Nicole started making regular appearances on the TV show, where they talk about everything from trying to get pregnant through to their medical similarities as triplets. The producers of The Doctors suddenly had an idea, one that would make for some seriously good TV. During their time on The Doctors, ratings soared, but there was one medical phenomena that really helped boost the show. All three triplets got pregnant at the same time. At the end of 2009 and beginning of 2010, people couldn't believe that all three were so alike and had to do everything together, including getting pregnant. This led to the producers of The Doctors featuring the girls even more and becoming keen to try something incredible out. Within just weeks of each other in 2010, the Dom triplets all gave birth. Not only did they give birth around the same time, but they all gave birth to beautiful little girls. Now that's really spooky. Jacqueline told Playboy how it must be that triplet bond, before going on to say how lucky and fortunate they've all been. Producers from the doctors let the girls settle into their motherhood before calling them in March 2017 with their intriguing idea. Jay McGraw and the other producers of the doctors approached the triplets at the beginning of 2017 with a rather strange request. They wanted to bring in a journalist from Inside Edition, Lisa Guerrero, to investigate whether DNA and Ancestry test sites were actually reliable. No one had ever had the opportunity to test the reliability of these kits on identical triplets before, but no one expected the shocking results that were to come from them. At-home DNA and Ancestry tests have risen in popularity over the years, with people paying out to learn a little bit more about who they are and where they come from. 23andMe and Ancestry have become leaders in the industry, giving people the opportunities to find out exactly what their heritage is and whether they have different ethnicities within them. These DNA tests carried out at home are reasonably priced and easy enough to do at home. The DNA test itself is pretty simple, involving a saliva kit that arrives in the mail. Once you've provided a sample of your saliva, these companies can then decode your DNA and find out more about your heritage. Some can even track long-lost relatives down. The triplets provided their saliva sample, shipped it back to the company, and awaited their results. They didn't quite know how these results would shock the world, however. It takes just a couple weeks for the results of the DNA test to be ready, so the Dom triplets didn't have to wait long to see what the results would be. In theory, being identical, all three girls should have identical DNA to match. However, Lisa Guerrero, the journalist from Inside Edition, was dubious about the at-home testing kits and couldn't wait to see the live results on the doctors. When Erica, Nicole, and Jacqueline first applied for that Playboy modeling job, they'd never expected to be where they are today, taking a DNA test for a popular TV show, waiting for the results that would either prove or disprove how identical they really are. Starting off as just three young ladies from a small town in Minnesota to sitting on the doctor's couch waiting to learn about their DNA. As the Dom triplets were planning on being nurses, they'd always been fascinated by genetics and biology. It made sense for them to help improve the genetic testing system but they never expected to be quite so shocked by the results of their DNA test. The tests were sent to 23andMe, with the results to be read out live on a special episode of The Doctors in March of 2017. The first result that came through weren't really much of a surprise to the triplets or the audience at home. The results showed that the siblings were definitely identical. Big shocker there. In fact, these girls are so alike that Nicole's safe can be opened up by Erica because their fingerprints are almost identical. They can trick the fingerprint technology into thinking they're the other triplet. Crazy, right? So the test telling them they were identical was correct. What's next? The second test the girls had to take was to see a bit more than just whether they were identical or not. This test would delve into their ancestry in order to see what ethnicities the girls were and what countries their ancestors were from. As the result of the first DNA test had come back identical, the Dom triplets were expecting this one to have the same results as well. However, the live show didn't go exactly to plan. The basics of the test showed that the three girls were, in fact, all 99% European, according to their DNA. So far, so identical. What became strange, however, was when their DNA was broken down even further. For example, Erica was found to be 16% Irish and British, whereas Nicole was 2% more Irish and British. How could this be? The results continued to come in, confusing the triplets, the doctors, and the audience. 
more results began coming in, which showed even bigger differences between some of the triplets and their supposed origins. The 23andMe test showed all three of the triplets had completely different percentages of French and German heritage. Nicole at 11%, Jacqueline at 18%, and Erica at 22.3%. How could three siblings with identical DNA suddenly have different ancestry? The girls were clearly confused about their mixed results, as were the doctors on the show. As different numbers flashed up, the audience gasped. When it came to the Scandinavian part of the test, there were yet even more discrepancies. The triplets and experts were shocked to learn that while Erica and Jacqueline both had exactly the same percentage, 7.4%, it was Nicole that had a different result. According to the test, Nicole was 11.4% Scandinavian, almost 4% more than her younger sisters. How could this be? Everyone watching was shocked to learn the sheer difference in the numbers. All three were unable to contain their shock surprises when the results were discovered. Nicole admitted that she was surprised. After all, they came from the same egg and have the same DNA. The first test had proved that. Dr. Travis Stork, the host of the doctors, had a few things to say about these kind of tests, too. He said these home tests should only be used for entertainment and not used as real evidence for your heritage. Dr. Stork went on to say that the tests you get sent in the mail are nowhere near advanced enough yet to be 100% accurate. He admitted there were always going to be some discrepancies in the results. Well, we may have come so far in the technology of genetic testing, he said, you can't just spit in a cup and have every single answer that you're looking for. With Lisa Guerrero already being unsure of the 